time. Thank you God for the ark, kids. Thank you God for the ark, kids. Thank you God for the ark, kids. We're so glad you're here. Thank you God for the ark, kids. Thank you God for the ark, kids. Thank you God for the ark, kids. We're so glad you're here. Will we get Scruffy wakened up? Oh, I just love our wee dog, Scruffy. Ready? After two. One, two. Wake up, Scruffy! Can you believe it? He's still sleeping after you shouting really loudly too. Try again. Okay. After two. One, two. Wake up, Scruffy! Oh, that's much better, oh, Scruffy! You're excited today, aren't you? Why are you so excited? Right, okay. Me too, actually, Scruffy. I can't wait. Well, we'll tell the boys and girls. Scruffy says he's really excited to hear the next part of our story. Do you remember last week? God told Noah something. Do you remember, Scruffy? God told Noah to build a boat, didn't he? And tell me this, Scruffy. Did Noah build a boat? Did he do what God said? And did he trust God? And tell me this, did God look after him? Yeah. Will we find out the next part of our story in a wee minute, will we? Because it's a lovely part, this next part. Do you remember it's Scruffy last week? We saw the little animals going in too. It was just lovely how God can look after us. And he has a great plan for us. But before we do that, Scruffy, let's have a wee song. Okay. Oh my goodness. This bag feels really heavy today. <gasps> Scruffy, you never guess what's in here. It's the ark that we were talking about last week. Oh my goodness. It's the actual ark that sits here. Scruffy, I think we should sing Mr Noah. What do you think? Because I used to sing it when I was a little girl and I'm sure lots of mums and dads used to sing it. But now we're like, oh, I think we should do it, will we? Okay, after two, one, two. Mr. Noah built an ark. The people thought it such a lark. Mr. Noah pleaded so, but into the ark they would not go. Down came the rain in torrents. Down came the rain in torrents. Down came the rain in torrents. And only it was saved. The animals went in two by two. The elephant, giraffe and the kangaroo. All were safely stored away. Until that dreadful, awful day. Day. Down came the rain in torrents. Down came the rain in torrents. Down came the rain in torrents. And only it was saved. Whenever you see a rainbow, whenever you see a rainbow, whenever you see a rainbow. Remember God is love. Oh, I love that, that wee song. Scruffy, you sit down there and listen to our story. And I'm going to find it in our beautiful storybook here. And it's called Noah and the Big Flood. Are you ready? Pitter patter, spish blush. Noah and his family listened to the rain falling. Pitter patter, it fell on the boat that Noah had built. Splish splosh, it fell on the water all around them. The rain poured down every day and there was no more dry land. But God made sure that everyone on the boat and all the animals were safe. Then the rain stopped. And for days and weeks and months, Noah and his family floated along in the boat. All they could see was water. Then God made a wind blow to dry up the water. 
It took months and months and months. Noah sent out a dove. At last she flew back to him with a leafy branch in her beak. Then Noah knew there was dry land somewhere and plants were growing all, all around. Before long they would be able to get out of the boat. God had kept them safe. One more time. Pitter patter, splish splosh. Noah and his family listened to the rain falling. Pitter patter, it fell on the boat that Noah built. Splish splosh, it fell on the water all around them. The rain poured down every day and there was no more dry land. But God made sure everyone on the boat and all the animals were safe. I'm sure no one his family were a bit worried, you know, when there's water everywhere and there's nothing else, only water. But who kept Noah and his family and the animals safe? Yes, God did. Then the rain stopped. It was quiet. For days and weeks and months, Noah and his family floated along in the boat. All they could see was water. Then God made a wind blow to dry up the water. It took months and months and months. Noah sent out a dove. At last she flew back to him with a leafy branch in her beak. Then Noah knew there was dry land somewhere and plants were growing again. Before long they would all be able to get out of the boat. God had kept them safe. The end. Wiggle your fingers, touch your nose, hands together, eyes closed. Father, this story is just amazing. When you read over it and over it and over it, it's just amazing that Noah and his family trusted you so much when everybody else wanted to do their own thing. They knew better, but actually God knew, you knew better and you knew that there was going to be this massive flood and you asked Noah to build a boat and you kept him and his family and the animals safe. You looked after them. And Father, just like you looked after Noah, you can look after us in our own houses, in our schools, in our nurseries, at our childminders. When we're running about the streets playing, you are there, you are alive. You care and you can look after us. We thank you that you keep us safe. And we pray, Lord Jesus, now that you would just help each and every child listening to the art. We pray that they would learn to love you and to trust you and help them to be your special friend, just like Noah was your special friend. Amen. I love that story. Fingers. Whenever you see a rainbow, whenever you see a rainbow, whenever you see a rainbow, remember God is love. Whenever you see a rainbow, whenever you see a rainbow, whenever you see a rainbow, remember God is love. That was just beautiful singing, everybody. And we had lots of lovely children listen to us scruffy today. So I would like you to give them a big smile and a big scruffy, scruffy hug. Good boy. And you'll see them all next time for story time. So Judy has got bubbles for great listening and for great sitting watching the ark. Ready? One more. They were really good bubbles today and I want you all to come back next week and we're going to hear the next part of our wonderful story of how Noah trusted God and God kept him safe. So it's really important that you listen next time and I'll see you next week and I hope you have good fun at home with mums and dads and be really good kids. All right, thumbs up. See you soon. Bye.